hey guys welcome back to my channel it is lydia if you're new around here hey what's up welcome if not get in the back you already know what time it is i always say get in the back because you literally know what this is about and if you're new you gotta sit at the front so you can concentrate you know if you're loving the vibes around here please be sure to hit that thumbs up button it really helps your girl out um i was just making some a light afternoon snack i guess i have got here some bacon some mixed olives and also some cheese i really wanted to add in halloumi cheese but then i thought it might just be a bit excessive on the cheese front which is not even a statement that i would normally say i love cheese <laughs> really do so two things first i wanted to address a comment that i had seen in a previous video which actually made me laugh so i thought <laughs> it was a comment from one of the guys who watches my videos and i think i mentioned something and i said guys instead of girls i usually say girls and he basically took commented saying oh my god finally the guys get a shout out you know and i was like oh i really need to remember to shout out the guys the silent boyfriends the silent husbands who are watching in the back we see you and we love you guys honestly send all the waves and all the love to the silent boyfriends speaking of husbands and boyfriends guys where is my engagement ring like where is my engagement ring it's not on my hand but what you can see is the mark that it's left like look my engagement ring is gone guys it's gone and where it's gone to is back to the jewelers for the second time i don't know if i ever told you guys but the ring was actually custom designed by damini um and so for that the outside of it is like a unique shape so i can't just get any kind of regular band from shops um wedding band that is so i have to get it custom made um to fit around the ring so the jeweler who made it has it back in his possession because he's going to template my wedding band and also resize it hopefully but i'm not sure he's gonna if he's gonna be able to do it in time because i need my ring back asap like he gets max a week with it and you can do whatever you need to do in that week after that i'm gonna need it back i'm gonna need it back so that's why your girl is currently ringless like i trust that it'll be back like you should have seen how how worried my face was literally when we were giving it away to the guy he was like don't look so nervous like don't look so worried and i'm like are you sick <laughs> That is a part of me that you have. No, <laughs> I need it back. Anyway, I'm gonna go have um, this snack. And then today what we're doing is taking my hair out. It is long overdue and I don't really wanna do it, but it's gonna be done. My lunch was so yummy if you are a regular watcher of the vlogs then you really should have a question for me regarding my ring remember guys i bought a um replacement ring or rather my fiance got me a replacement ring but being lydia being the klutz being the kind of person that i am obviously i've lost it so hence why i don't even have my replacement because that was the whole literally that was the whole point of it for moments like this when it's being away this is me so guys finally time to take out my hair i have been avoiding this for the longest but today is the day yesterday i saw a tiktok and it was like i don't know who needs to see this but it's time to take out your faux locks i saw it and i was like oh god i feel like that's that's directed towards me but the thing is i think it's because of my hair texture like having 40 hair texture and the texture of these locks it just the longer you have it the more it blends and i just feel like it looks better but we have to take this off and with that guys i want to give a big shout out to the sponsors of this video who are tangle teaser tangle teaser are an award-winning hair care brand and guys the products i'm about to show you are like the first of their kind for the brand this is the dual sided wide tooth comb and this side here is perfect for detangling hair and also it's really great for reducing breakage if i bring it closer you can see that it's got rounded tips which is actually really great because it's gentle on your scalp on the other side here you can see this so these smaller teeth are perfect for detangling and it can help reduce any kind of knots that you have stuck in your hair i love the two layers that they've got that's really great for detangling 
Another really cool thing about this is this little eyelet here. And if you're somebody who likes to store your brushes um, on hooks, you can do that. You can basically use this comb on wet, damp, dry hair. Only thing you can't use it with is heat. So please be sure to note that. But otherwise this is perfect for detangling hair. I'm sure you guys already know, but just in case you didn't, I would recommend to use this to detangle your hair from the tips, okay? From the tips to the roots, then that way it reduces breakage. So the next product I wanna show you is this hair pick, which I thought was pretty cool, guys. Look, the teeth are this bottle shape and it has also curved tips, much like the wider tooth comb. These teeth are meant to help the comb move through your hair easily without snagging. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for you guys to go and check out the new Tangle Teaser products. Be sure to click the link and go and check out the new products and purchase. <laughs> It is a lot smaller. Only half a size. They're too small. It's not getting in. <laughs> was it loose before then? Yeah, it was very loose. It would literally spin all the just, time. Just, you put maybe warm. Take it off and just wet your knuckle. Oh, oh lord. Just lick, lick around your, your knuckle and then try to. Yes. It looks a lot smaller though. Wow, for real. Half a size or something. Okay, this will be alright. There we go. Now that's not coming off. If you decide it's too tight, then bring it back, and I will make it bigger. Okay. No, this is this is the smallest it's felt, and I think it feels good. Because beforehand, it used to just spin around. It used to just always spin. It's so clean. Well, keep it clean. God! <laughs> if, you, if you can't get it off, then put a bit of, just a bit of your hand cream around your knuckle. Around my knuckle. Then it will slide straight off. Amazing. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. A very happy Smiley Lydia coming to you this afternoon. <laughs> I said afternoon, but really it's actually evening. It's like 6.42 at this point. Ah, we're going to start calling it evening, okay? Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm coming to you quite late in the day because today has been such a busy day. Like, where haven't I been? First of all, started my uh, day this morning with the Dinka Step Challenge. If you're not joining so far, like, what, what's up, sis? You, you don't want to get snatched for summer? You're not interested for summer? Like, or for yourself in general? But um, yeah, this morning started off my walk, Dig a step challenge, we walked um, to the jewellers and I went to pick up my ring. I don't know if you noticed, but my engagement ring is back on and oh God, I feel like myself again. Like my baby is back on my finger and I feel so good. I'm very happy to report that they resized it half a size down again and it fits so much better now. So hopefully it shouldn't be spinning around because my ring, it'd be sitting on the side like this. And sis, you're meant to be up and shiny, but I mean, I love it, absolutely love it. So then after that, um, today we also had like wedding stuff, like major wedding stuff, um, venue viewings and vendors and all of that. And yeah, it went really well. Like guys, I keep saying there is a wedding series coming for you guys. I wanna thank you so much for being so kind and being so patient with me, like patient mostly. I know that you guys love following like my journeys. When I when I was um, when I was working full time, you guys followed that journey. When I was buying my house, you guys followed that journey. When I was renovating my house, you guys followed that journey. When I'm getting married, I'd love for you guys to follow that journey. Um, and you will so yeah thank you so much for being patient and and waiting for that footage it's gonna come and when it does come guys please go hard for your girl like we're really putting in a lot of effort um to get this documentary out to you um yeah so keep your eye out that's that's coming it's coming okay you will come you see it when it's ready that's what i'll say um so yeah i'm really excited about that so that went really well and also oh my god i can't believe i'm gonna sneak peek this but i just can't I can't not like I just I have to show you my wedding bouquet like I have to guys so look <laughs> look at the size of it it's bigger than my head it's literally bigger than my head guys this is a sample though I think it's pretty much what I want I think it's gonna make me sneeze guys I'm really allergic to grass and flowers when did i become this person 
I love flowers too much, but I could feel it. And it's how I feel when I go for walks in the morning when I haven't taken my antihistamine. I can just feel like something tickling the back of my my um my nose. I need to grow up. Like I, I need to grow out of this new bound hay fever pollen allergy, like bottom tier. Literally bottom tier. But these roses in this bouquet, top tier. Oh my god, you can't even see it. It's so bright in here. This is basically what I would like. These are real flowers, by the way. Look at how many flowers are there. Do you see how thick this is? This is absolutely stunning, like stunning. The only thing that I wasn't sure about is this one. I can't remember what she called this flower, but I suffer really badly from, um, <laughs> I suffer probably isn't the right word, but um, I, I get trypnophobia really badly. I don't even like saying the word, guys. Look, saying the word alone brings me goosebumps like i suffer from trypnophobia let me just put it that way oh it's actually making me itch like so we are probably thinking about we need to revise the bouquet a little bit to to change that top flower but i absolutely love this i feel like the camera isn't doing it any justice they're just basically the most gorgeous luxury um roses like white roses different kinds of roses and then they've got some i believe these are hydrangeas as well um i think they are like white hydrangeas to just fluff it out for a bit of texture and then we've got um all different types i can't remember what these ones are called but they're like tiny smaller roses they're just basically a bouquet of roses and i freaking love it love i like i thought the size of it was quite large but this is actually the smallest size that omf does oh my god guys I, all this time i haven't even said who it is this is um the company is omf events i'm gonna have them linked below and um her name is shola shola oh god guys even look just like little details i don't know if you can see there's a ribbon here with a nice little pearl on here guys it's just stunning like it's absolutely gorgeous um yeah and it's one of the sample uh bouquets that we're thinking about for the day uh we still need to like go through a few things change a few things um but i love it like it's stunning even as it is right now it's absolutely stunning and one thing about me i plan on on um drying my flowers keeping the flowers for the wedding at least not all of them like but just some of them i love flowers like it's insane this is why the sneezing has got to stop that can never happen again i pick up flowers and sneeze that's not the life that i've chosen that's not the life that god directed for me my my pollen allergy must disappear this year the way it came it needs to go it's unwanted anyway yeah gonna gonna get to keep these that's the best part guys after the vendor viewing um i was like so um do i keep these <laughs> and she was like yeah this is a gift for you i know you love flowers i was like ah! <gasps> this is the best part of the day no hold on this is the best part of the day this is the second best part of the day so mm, happy girl i just need my invisalign to go away now but um that's that's we're still here guys if i told you about all of the things that i've been doing my invisalign trays you guys would be so disappointed so i won't tell you <laughs> i'll tell you some other time when the journey is done but um yeah it's all good tomorrow guys tomorrow me and you get ready for a rough day because we've got a long day i'm gonna go get my nails done tomorrow i'm also going to um hopefully get my hair done as we speak as we are currently speaking and the time is 6:51. I don't have a hairdresser if he's busy therefore i need to find somebody else it's 6 51 and i don't have a hairdresser up at the end of the day again like yesterday today has been another one of those extremely busy days i got my hair done got my nails done and got my makeup done as well like 
all in one day all of it completely unprepared and i just feel so good because it's actually all working out but um yeah the errand of the day has been done so now we're going to nandito's going to nando's and i can't wait to show you i literally just discovered this is it's a new discovery for me it's been on the menu for a long long freaking while but when we get there i'll show it to you and it's so yummy so yummy but yeah great day today hard work shout out to ify for coming through for me honestly because she came through for me on the most last minute madness i need to work i need to just i just need to do better Ooh, tesla i could do better I, just, I love that. That's one of my favorite features in the car because otherwise parking. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Nando's. So we're just by Chiswick High Street and I really love these little tiny shops here. I love them, it looks so cute. There's a Vietnamese spot, there's a cleaners. <laughs> there's um, a Chinese spot down there. I just think it looks really cute. Really, really cute. <laughs> Still getting our steps in. 13k and the time is 9 o'clock. 2k steps to go. Today I got my steps in mostly from walking to my appointments. Um, and then oh, I got a chance to the Jubilee line for the first time. The, what? The, the Elizabeth line. Yeah, the new Elizabeth line. Yeah, it's quite loud in here. I'm gonna wait for my food to come, then I'll show it to you, and then we're gonna call it and like call it a vlog. It looks so cute. If you love me in the hair, shout out to you each and every single freaking time. Quick waves! Thank you! What the hell is this? Is this new? Oh, it's back to the same. Oh, and halloumi as well. Oh, and also I, I had ordered some halloumi. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, look at my food. Look at this. So, this is so yummy. This is the rainbow salad. And it's got chicken thighs. It's got um, rainbow slaw, which I always change from regular slaw. Thank you. Um, got some hummus. Got some broccoli. Some greens. And then I always add some extra halloumi. It's so buff. So yummy. And it's healthy too. Mm. The grilled pineapple at Nando's. No, I feel like I have to look at the menu properly. To look at the bangers. Yeah, make sure you don't miss things. I was listening to the Milf and Honey podcast and they always ask this question to their guests. Would you rather live a life with no regrets but you can only live until you're 15 or would you rather a life, a long life where you live until you're 100 but full of regrets? Which one are you going to go for? Because personally, I'm living until 100 with the regrets, babe. I live with regrets right now. <laughs> the regrets ain't killed me. Like, for real, I'm, I'm living to 100. I'm going to live a long life. And Damini's living until 50 with no regrets. Regrets. They're like polishes. Let me know the answer in the comments. Good morning guys, good morning. Today, today is the day of my bridal shower. All I have to do is say a big thank you to my sister, Dot, Soft Life Ambassador, for literally putting together this bridal shower. I just, literally, I don't have anyone like her. I don't, I don't. And I'm so, so grateful because I'm really looking forward to it. Like, wedding planning has been very, like, up and down for me, if I'm very honest. Um, I'm very emotional <laughs> I'm very emotional and I get overwhelmed very easily so something like wedding planning hasn't been the most smooth journeys in terms of emotions like in terms of the actual planning of the wedding Sandra Sanyu got that like Ben had that but like in terms of managing my emotions I haven't been able to like manage my emotions in the best way possible to be honest like i've been very overwhelmed at times when it comes to um moments like this where it's just like all happy and it's all like positive vibes i really try and relish in it and i'm just so excited like shout out to my baby sister man sister is priceless genuinely priceless anything you want you can get it baby you can get it from me now because 
I don't know who else would have done this for me, basically, if it wasn't for her. And I don't know anybody who would have done it with so much love in the way that she's done it. I'm just beyond grateful for it. So now I am on my way to Ify to do my hair. Guys, I'm running early. Yes, you heard that right. I am running early for the appointment. So first of all today, this morning, I've got Ify London to do my hair. Shout out to my best hairdresser and a really, really good friend of mine, like literally really good friend of mine comes through for me every single time a friend that i can rely on like for everything and then after iffy i'm going to ibk mua to do my makeup this is actually a bridal trial life hack guys so when you're doing so what if you're an upcoming bride you get a trial i've got two trials and i'm gonna use those trials um, on days when I actually have things to do. So for example, today is my bridal shower and I'm having my bridal makeup trial today. Um, so that I can like, it's a two for one deal, you know? So that I can actually see what the makeup looks like and I can see what it looks like in photographs, how it looks like in videos, um, and how I feel about it for the whole day. Yeah, so I'm getting my trial today with IBK and then after that, heading home, the bridal shower starts about 2.30. And I'm literally gonna get there about two o'clock, two fifteen. I'm so nervous and I'm so excited for it. I don't even know who's gonna be there. Dot just said that it could be a maximum of ten people, but I don't know who the people are. I really don't. But either way, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, guys, let's catch up when we get to Ippies, get my hair slayed, and let's get this bridal shower on the way. We get. So we have got to got to Ify London, <gasps> new unit. Um, this is well, how would you describe this? What kind of this? Um, highlights. highlights, right? Baby girl, fifteen minutes. Okay. Can we do it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Been chitting and chatting. Every time I get here, it's just chit chat. But I'm um, very excited for this. It's like blonde without it being offensively blonde. So now, don't come for my girl now. Don't come for her now. <laughs> It's like um, chocolatey brown with loads of brown, blonde. I think it's even making my skin, um, like it's lifting my skin, I like it. Guys, we're just saying that I'm so glad that I finally got a different wig because you know I'm dying with my usual Lydia Dinga unit. I love this wig so much. We always say every time I come here, it's like this wig grows because we cut the lace and we reshape the lace each time I come, but it doesn't get any smaller and the wig doesn't seem to change. It just gets better and better. And I've had it for like, I think, over a year and a half now, surely, no? Yeah. Or a lot more than that. I think it's been like, Probably like a year and a half, but that's just iffy London quality hair. And even speaking about that, new products, new products. Guys, look at these. These are the wig bands where you can use to re-secure. Let's put it on um, Yeah, we'll put it on. You can purchase these from iffy London so that when you're doing your hair at home, you can lay your hair down instead of having to use um, tights and leggings or whatever. And you're also supporting a black owned business. So yeah, Kev I? I love this, love the color. So freaking cute. Look at the curls, look at the color, look at the roots. This is much more fitting to my skin tone. Much more fitting. And what we compare it to, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> the previous one, okay? I can't live that down for it. Ever. I'm gonna need to let it go, I need to let it go. If you do know the best thing, you're going to be there. So if my hair even falls... I'm going to come with everything. Don't come. No, no, no. Please, we have GHDs in the house. So the reason we're putting my hair half up is because I have a veil. So I think it will look nicer if it's half up and then there's a veil sticking out. Just final touch-ups. This looks too good. Please speak a command. If he snapped. <laughs> That's the command. If he London snapped on my hair. This is stunning. Lydia is running on time, guys. What? Because what? of her makeup artist. Oh yeah, I arrived here late. Sorry, guys. I should say, I arrived here late. But my makeup artist, as you know, fast and thick. This is literally the fastest my makeup has ever been done, and it still looks. And it still looks immaculate. I love it, I absolutely love it. It's so cute. It's really cute. 
I need to take my Invisalign now. It's killing, it's capping my enjoyment at least 80%. Mm. So I've just got back from my bridal trial, um, IBK MUA. So this is Anne. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is literally the look that I would be going for on the day. Funnily enough, I even have my flowers here. I still have my flowers. They're like a week old, but they're still going strong. Um, the only thing that I wasn't sure about was the eyes. I felt like the eyes were a bit too strong. But to be honest, when I get home, I'm going to go and have a chat with the girls. Uh, the bridesmaids are going to be there. And also have a chat with like Dot. And she can let me know. Like, you know, it's always good to get a second opinion. But I love the skin. I think the skin looks really, really good. Um, if anything, it's just the eyes. I feel like the eyes are a bit strong. Like, it's giving me birthday makeup as opposed to wedding makeup. But that can always be changed. Let's call Dot. She's going to be so surprised that I am ready on time. I'm actually an hour, running an hour early. Hey, boo. Oh, my. Yeah, you look cute. Hold on. I'm coming to my bedroom and I'm seeing the sofa up here. So I know that the sofa is not downstairs. <laughs> but I have no idea what this is all about. I just know that the sofa has definitely been taken apart. I brought my flowers with me from OMF and they're still amazing. Literally a whole week later. I can't wait to carry these. I need to basically put this pillowcase over my head and then put my dress on from the top because otherwise it's gonna get very brown and i also used a silk pillowcase just because it's a lot softer if my face did go into it imagine that on my dress imagine that on my pure white dress my lips are brown oh my god what a bit of disaster he swapped his hair downstairs charlotte is here as it could be. Is it giving bridal? <laughs> I love it so much. I need to call my mom. I need to show my mom this. My lips supposed to come off, but I'm gonna call my mom to show her. Then it was time to go downstairs to start the bridal shower literally the most magical afternoon ever if you guys want to see what we got up to go over to dot's youtube channel at dorothy dinga because she has some more from the bridal shower oh literally take me back <laughs> guys so it's the next day the day after my bridal shower and i'm just i'm full of smiles literally i'm so I can't, I don't even know what the word is. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to Dot for what she did, all she did. Like, she did an amazing job. Dot did such an amazing job. I literally, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't involved in any of the planning of this, but she managed to get all of my favorite people in the same place to come and celebrate with me. I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. We had such an amazing time. It was a pizza and Prosecco party and literally this is my two favorite things. So it just made so much sense <laughs> to have a pizza and Prosecco themed bridal shower party and we drank and we ate and we laughed and we, did we dance? I don't know if I danced, but I had the best time ever. Like literally I had the best time ever. So much so that I, I fell asleep. I was the one who fell asleep first, like before midnight as well, around 11. And it's so funny, literally the first thing I, I woke up this morning, I'm like, all right, cool, let's go, let's go. I'm looking at Charlotte cause she was um, sleeping in the bed next to me. I'm like, Charlotte, let's go. She's like, go where? I looked at the clock, it's 6.45 AM. Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the club at 6.45 a.m. 
Like, I literally fell asleep. I went upstairs to go and do my hair and I had my head hit the pillow and that was that. That was that was the end of that. So honestly guys, I had I had the best time ever. I just can't I can't think dot enough and I can't think oh so beaut, oh so beaut balloons, like what? She always comes through for me. Dot told me that the two of them came up with the ideas, came up with the plans, and then put it all together. The table set up, stunning, like literally absolutely stunning. I can't, I can't thank her enough. Thank you so much. I can't thank Dot. I just, there's too many thank yous to give. Even now, I need to, I need to do voice notes to everyone who came last night and tell them thank you for being here. Thank you for all of my flowers. I have so many flowers. Like, there's... This is so this, this is so funny. Oh my god, let me show you this. <laughs> this is Charlotte. Look. She put the flowers in a pot so that they can at least get some water. I've got a bunch of three here. I've got some more down here. I've got some upstairs. I have so many flowers. And look at this. This is so beautiful. It's so stunning. It's my throne. Oh, so beautiful. When I walked in, when I first walked in, I thought this said baby. I was like, baby? Bride, it says. Oh, it was so beautiful. I want to do it again. I wish I could do it again. That was so special. That was amazing. Like, if the wedding is going to be anything, anything like that, then I'm so ready. Let's do it. Let's get married like yesterday. Because I had the best time. I literally had the best time ever. It was so nice being surrounded by people who I love. And people who love me. Like it, it was no words. Like literally no words can describe how that feels. For everyone to take time out of their day. To be here at the same time. In the same place. To do the same thing. What just celebrating me. Like it feels really good. It feels so, so, so good. And I'm just so thankful for everyone who was involved in the planning of this. Guys, all I did was was make a dress. Make a dress and show up. That's literally all I did. Like, that's all I have to say. Like, thanks. I wish we could restart the whole day. I wish I could just go back to Iffy's, go and get my hair done, go and do my makeup again, come upstairs, get ready. Like, oh, I want to do it again. I want it again. I want it again. <laughs> Can I have two bridal showers? Can I have two? Is that okay? Do you think that's okay? I think I should have two. Because yesterday was magical. I need to voice note every single person who was here to tell them a big fat thank you because that was, that was literally beyond anything that I ever dreamt of. Hey baby girl. I just want to say thank you so freaking much for coming yesterday. Thank you so much for your energy. Thank you for being here.